welcome to Emma's YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Emmy and I'll be teaching the order of operation. But before anything else, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. in mathematics and that is the order of operation it is important for us to know which one to do first whether to add subtract multiply or to divide all right so take a look at our order of operation agreement we have here step one perform all calculations within the grouping symbols if you're not familiar with the grouping symbols, they are parentheses, braces, or brackets. Alright? So that means we need to perform all the indicated operation inside the grouping symbols. Next, step 2, simplify the exponential expressions. Examples of exponential expression, we have 2 squared, and that is equal to 2 times 2 equals 4. Another, we have negative 2 squared. So, all you have to do is to put the negative sign outside the parentheses and then perform 2 squared. So, that will give us negative 4. Another one, we have negative 2 quantity squared. That is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 and that will give us positive 4. Alright, so those are examples of exponential expressions. Next, we have step 3. Do multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. So that means if division comes first before multiplication, then you need to do division before you multiply. And vice versa, if multiplication comes first before division, then you need to do multiplication first before you divide. Alright? And next, we have step 4, do addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. It's the same with step 3. If subtraction comes first before addition, then we need to subtract first before we add. Alright? So, these steps represent the Jemdes rule. What is Jemdes rule? G for grouping, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Alright, so let's try to use the Jemdes rule here in our first example. 40 minus 24 divided by 3 multiplied by the square of the difference of 4 and 6. So G stands for grouping symbol. So that means we need to perform the indicated operation inside the grouping symbol. And that is 4 minus 6. That will give us negative 2. Next, E for exponent. We need to simplify negative 2 quantity squared. And that will give us positive 4. Next, M and D, multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. In our expression, division comes first before multiplication. So that means we need to divide first 24 and 3. And that will give us 8. Then multiply it by 4, it will give us 32. And then S for subtraction, so 40 minus 32, that will give us positive 8. Alright, next example. As you can see, we have two grouping symbols, the parentheses and the bracket. So, G for grouping. So, that means we need to perform the indicated operation inside the innermost grouping symbol. And that is inside the parentheses. So, we have here 1 minus 3 
that is equal to negative 2. Next, simplify 5 times negative 2 because they are still inside the grouping symbol. So, 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10. And then E for exponent, we have negative 2 squared that will give us negative 4. And then M for multiplication, we have 4 times negative 10 is negative 40. And then A and S, addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So in our expression, subtraction comes first before addition. So we need to subtract first negative 4 and 16. And that will give us negative 20. And then the final step, negative 20 plus negative 40 is equal to negative 60. Alright, so the final answer is negative 60. And that is how Jemda's rule works. Alright, so try to apply the Jemda's rule in the first problem. We have here 4 minus 3 squared plus 15 divided by... Alright, for more exercises, kindly check the link below at the description box. Alright, let's start answering this one. Start with the grouping symbol. We have here 4 minus 3 squared. But before we subtract, we need to simplify first 3 squared. And that will give us positive 9. Then 4 minus 9 because they are still inside the grouping symbol. So 4 minus 9 is negative 5, and then we have to divide first, 15 and 5. That will be positive 3, and the final step, we have negative 5 plus 3, will give us negative 2. So the final answer will be negative 2. Alright, next, number 2. We have here 6 times 2 plus 45 divided by 3 squared minus 20. So here we don't have any grouping symbol. Then we need to simplify the exponents. So we have here 3 squared is equal to 9. Next, we need to multiply first 6 and 2. That will give us 12 and then divide 45 and 9. So 45 divided by 9, that will give us 5. And then, again, addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So that means we need to add first 12 and 5, that is 17, and then subtract it by 20. The final answer is negative 3. Alright? Next, number 3. 4 times 2 squared minus 18 divided by 6 plus 9. Again, we don't have any grouping symbol, so we start with the exponent. Simplifying 2 squared will give us positive 4. And then multiply 4 and 4, that will give us 16. So before we add or subtract, we need to divide first 18 and 6. So, 18 divided by 6 will give us 3, and then 16 minus 3, that will give us 13. And the final step we have here, 13 plus 9, will give us 22. Alright? And that is how Jem does rule works. Alright? Again, for more exercises, kindly check the link below or buy our book Elementary Algebra Study Guide Book 1. It is available at MSA Online Bookstore. Alright? Again, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. See ya!